Ken Hans became the third chancellor of the Texas Tech University System in December 2006. One of the things Chancellor Hans is famous for is his love of Texas Tech. That affection is rooted in his concern for students and all those affiliated with this university. Graduates know that many of you have personally benefited from his attention and support. His example is reflected in a quality that is shared by all of our staff and faculty. Thank you, Chancellor Hans, for your leadership and contribution to Texas Tech. Congratulations. I love Texas Tech. I love every part of it. I enjoyed it. I had fun. My parents brought me here in 1961 and dropped me off. And within two weeks, I fell in love with Texas Tech. I graduated in four years. And if I had to do over again, I'd take 12. <laughs> now, I'm not telling anyone in the crowd that we want you to do 12. It's the same four. Four. It's <laughs> Undergraduate. And then two, three, maybe four, five. Graduate school. This is graduate school. You hit the big leagues. This is something to really be pleased with. Our people do well. I would put up Texas Tech against any university. You look at how we do. The Wall Street Journal interviewed 459 college recruiters and they said, where do you get the best students? We were number 18 in the nation. We were number one in the Big 12. We were at the University of Virginia, University of Illinois, Notre Dame, MIT, some great schools. But I think part of that is the work ethic of the people that come from Texas Tech. They know to get there early and stay late, and you do it right take care of the details. Those are all so important. Uh, another thing that I would mention to you is the success that our people have had. You look at our graduates, and I just name a few. You know, when Congress, the White House, everybody had problems, General Motors went broke, they didn't call on someone from Harvard or Yale or Stanford to turn it around. They had to get a Texas Tech graduate to turn it around. They had to And uh, some of the engineering people here tonight uh, the Ed Whitaker College of Engineering. And that he is the only person in the history of the world that's been CEO and chairman of the board of two of the ten largest companies in the world, AT&T, General Motors, and he serves on the board with a small mom and pop oil and gas company called Exxon. <laughs> and that uh, no one in Texas Tech told him, Ed, you probably can't do all that. We told him, you can do that. Forbes magazine every year, they list the hundred most powerful women in the world. Angela Brock has been on that list for the last seven years. She's a Texas Tech graduate. She's CEO of WellPoint. They are the holding company for Blue Cross Blue Shell, one of the largest insurance companies in the world. One year she was fourth, fourth most powerful woman in the world. And I called her and I said, I am so impressed with you. You're ahead of Hillary Clinton and Oprah Winfrey Bubble. <laughs> and she laughed and she said, my little sisters are more impressed that I've had a Queen Elizabeth. I like that. <laughs> if you watch the CBS Evening News, the anchor is Scott Petter, Texas Tech alum. If you go to the New York Metropolitan Opera, the lead soprano is Susan Graham. She has two music degrees. She has a graduate degree from Texas Tech. She has two degrees. She's the number one rated mezzo soprano in the world. If you look at the USS Abraham Lincoln, the largest aircraft carrier, one of the largest aircraft carriers in the world, the captain of the ship is a 1985 mechanical engineering graduate of Texas Tech, John Alexander. If you go to Iraq, the president of the Iraqi Trade Bank in St. Algiers is a 1985 electrical engineering graduate of Texas Tech. And if you look at who was the next to last person to throw, through a perfect game in Major League Baseball, it was Dallas Lee Brayton for the Oakland A's. His mother died of breast cancer. His mother, his grandmother raised him. And she was at the game and she told him, your mother's here in spirit, I'm here, and we I'm afraid about it. Nobody's gonna get on first base. Nobody get ahead. Nobody get on first base. If I own Oakland A's, granny did everything. I get her a front row seat. The leading receiver in the NFL the last five years is Texas Tech graduate Wes Welker, who was two 
slow and too short to play college football, and only Texas Tech offered him that opportunity. And he forgot to be, someone forgot to tell him, you can't do that. So look, when you go out, I want you to sell. I want you to hit home runs left and right. I want you to get rich. I want you to send a bunch of money back to Texas Tech. <laughs> you knew I was gonna slip that last one in there someplace, didn't you? <coughs> it's a great school. Right. I don't think I've ever been elected to Congress, or that I've done a lot of things. Texas Tech gave me the opportunity to grow. It gives you the opportunity. One thing that I want to mention is that we're going to do in the morning, we're going to grant a Distinguished Service Award to Jack Bennett, a 1949 graduate of Texas Tech. He was here, he was a major in Derry in World War II. And he was one of the first to land on Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944. And he made it in and there were several miles and they were in plain part of France and then he was in an accident where a bomb hit close to him and killed everyone in the barn except him and the next thing he knew he came to about two or three days later in England and there was a debate going on between two doctors on where they were going to amputate his leg and as he told me Tuesday Chancellor I got real involved in the debate I said, I bet you did. And he convinced it not to. He, his leg has very little, if any, feeling. But he came back to Texas Tech, graduated in 1949, retired a few years ago. He's been married almost 60 years. And this week, the French government gave him the French Legion Medal of Honor, which is comparable to the Congressional Medal of Honor. And he's a Texas Tech writer. As a speaker tonight, we have someone with a small start, Senator Ted Cruz. Senator Cruz has a background. His dad, and he'll speak about this, but his dad was taken prisoner and severely beaten in Cuba. And he escaped to freedom. And his son winds up in the U.S. Senate. Ted is a graduate with honors from Princeton. He can be in Ted. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He graduated from Harvard Law School with high honors. He was a, the youngest Solicitor General in the United States when he was Solicitor General in the state of Texas. Solicitor General is the one that argues all your cases. He argued nine cases in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. He has been listed as one of the top 50 attorneys in the nation. He is a great American. He loves this country, he loves freedom, and tonight, let's give him a big Texas Tech welcome.